okay good morning in the previous session we discussed about the cloud enabling technologies different cloud enabling technologies after that the cloud architecture the in the cloud architecture workload distribution architecture we completed and then resource pooling architecture now we are going to know about the the dynamic scalability architecture elastic resource capability architecture here what is a dynamic scalability architecture the dynamic scala scalability means the scalability increasing the it resources that means the scalability in the sense increasing or decreasing the it resources as needed that means based on the demand you are going to increasing the it resources you are going to decreasing the it resources that is called here scalability the dynamic scalability architecture is a architectural model based on a, a system of free defined scaling conditions that means based on a certain conditions your free defined condition systems free defined conditions this is a, a model and then this triggers the dynamic allocation of it resources from the resource pool that means it will execute it will scaling it is scaling up scaling down that means vertical scaling horizontal scaling that means you will perform the all these operation based on the requirement that's called here dynamic scalability that means the dynamic scalability architecture is a architectural model it is a pattern and then the dynamic allocation enables the variable utilization as dictated by the use of demand and situation that means based on the it requirement based on the requirement you are going to increase in the it resources you are going to decrease in the it resources that means that is called here scalability that and then you have a some automated scaling listener is there here what is the automated scaling listener here there is a in the diagram here the second number 2 that means here you identify the auto automated scaling listener here what is the specialty of automated scaling listener the automated scaling listener is a configured with the workload threshold that dictate that dictate when new it resource is needed to be added to the workload processing that means there is a if you want to add a new it resource that means it dictate the dictate the that means it's having the some threshold value based on the threshold value you are adding the it resources new it resources and then this mechanism can be provided can be provided with the logic what is the logic here that the logic determines the how many additional resources can be dynamically provided here what is the automated scaling listener here the listener having the some threshold value based on the threshold value you are going to adding the new id resources and then this automated uh, uh, scaling listener having a some logic yeah, what is the logic that one how many how many additional it resources how many it resources can be dynamically provide dynamically provided based on the terms of a given cloud consumers provisioning contract here based on the contract here that means uh, the automated scaling here for example i need to give a five servers for the consumer for the consumer that means the automated scaling is not having the that scaling threshold five if the consumer asks the second uh, server that means he is allocating that server he will ask the another server he will allocating if the threshold value more than five more than five then stop that is a the main work of the automated scaling listener here and then some of the different types of dynamic scaling are available here what are the different types of dynamic scaling here one is a dynamic horizontal scaling dynamic vertical scaling and then dynamic relocation here coming to the dynamic horizontal scaling here in the right side diagram shows that horizontal means there is a need of servers you are increasing the uh, servers 
maybe how can you increase in the server share like a uh, horizontally that means adding adding more processing units or physical machines to server or databases adding more processing unit in the right side diagram shows the you are going to adding the more processing unit to the system that is called here dynamic horizontal scaling the it resource instances are scaled out scaled in to handle the fluctuation workloads here that means on demand there is a requirement is there that means for example if you want to expand your company that means there is a requirement you are, you are going to add in a more servers more, that means no more processing units more phys physical machines that means at that time you are going to increasing your, your servers that means uh, for example there is a means sometimes you may decrease in the the server needed that means you are going to decrease in the processing units you are going to decrease in the physical machines to the server or databases and then the automated scaling legionnaire monitor already you discussed the automated scaling legionnaire monitor here what is the automated scaling legionnaire monitor it is having the some threshold value based on threshold value it is giving the opportunity to the consumer that means it is allocating the servers to the consumer that is called here automatic scaling legionnaire the automatic scaling legionnaire monitors the automatic scaling legionnaire monitors the request and signal resource replication to initiate it resource duplication as for the requirements and the permissions as for the requirement it will allocates the different resources next one dynamic vertical scaling vertical scaling scaling up scaling down all all is scaling up and then scaling out scaling in scaling out that is a horizontal vertical scaling in the sense scaling up and scaling down here what is the thing here adding the more resources the resources may be cpu ram disk scaling up scaling down here the instances are scaling up and scaling down when there is a need to adjust the processing capability of it resources here for example you are having the right side diagram shows the scaling up and then scaling down there is a uh, requirements is there that means adding more resources here cpu ram a disk to your server the server may be database server application server that means as on demand as per the demand here you are adding for example virtual server that is being overloaded can have its uh, memory dynamically increase or it may have a processing core added we are coming to the replication replication in the sense moving moving one oh, one uh, capability to another capability for example moving from 1 gb for the second capability to 8 gb for second capability that means moving that means the dynamic relocation in the sense it resources it resources relocated to host with uh, more capability for example database may need to be moved from tape based sand sand storage device with uh, 4 gb for seconds i io capability to another disk based on sand storage device with 8 gb per second io capability that means this is this process we call it as a relocation you are moving from one capability device to another capability device one capability device to another capability device we call it as a relocation that is done by using this architecture here the process of dynamic horizontal scaling how can you perform in the process the diagram shows that number 1 and then number 2 and then here you have a number 3 number 4 number 5 are, are there here process of dynamical horizontal scaling here the left side the cloud consumers are there consume what is the consumer here who will use the cloud the cloud consumer in the sense who will use the cloud the cloud provider in the sense who will provide the cloud services to the consumer here any person uses a cloud services 
that's a, that's called as a consumer here the cloud service consumer in this case are sending request to the cloud service here what is the cloud service there is a need of increasing the or decreasing the services servers increasing the decreasing the the cpu disk capability to the server that means there is that is handled by the who will handle that one automated scaling listener here in the right side diagram shows the automated scaling listener what is the automated scaling listener the automated scaling listener have the some threshold value automated scaling listener um, giving a some opportunity some increasing and decreasing of the servers to the consumer given by the automated scaling listener the automated scaling listener monitor the cloud services to determine if predefined capability thresholds are being executed that means the provider will give a some threshold value to the consumer if the free defined the free defined capability thresholds are being executed that that's a uh, verified by the automated scaling listener that is a verified by the automated scaling listener we are coming to the number of requests from the cloud service consumer that means here in this case that means what is the consumer here asking you want to increase in the capability you want to increase in the more number of servers in this case here the third point indicates that the number of requests coming from the cloud service consumer increases here the workload exceeds the performance threshold here automated scaling listener determines the, the next course of action based on a free defined scaling policy here in this case based on the free defined scaling policies automated scaling listener determines what is the next course of action based on a free defined scaling policies already you define some policy here four indicates that the automated scaling listener having a that means it determines the the next course what is the next course of action based on a free defined policy coming to the fifth one what is the fifth one if the cloud service implementation is dim dim eligible for the additional scaling the automated scaling listener initiate the scaling process in this case the automated scaling listener notices the cloud service instances overloaded with the request that means if you want to extend expand some resources the instances then automated scaling scaling listener give a message to the consumer what is the message here that means the listener automated listener scaling increasing that means additional scaling that means not in demand for the additional scaling in the sense it's not eligible for the additional scaling here notice that the cloud service instances overloaded with the request and then automated scaling listener sticks the point here here down here in the, in this case there is a automated after that automated scaling listener sends a signal to the resource replication you know very well resource replication resource replication in the sense moving from one capability to another capability of devices moving from one capability of devices 8 gb for something that means capability of devices to another capability that's called here replication here this kind of replication mechanism which creates a instances of cloud service instance that means always it creates the number of instances that indicates the a point number 8 the next point number 7 next eight point here now the increased workload has been accommodated the automated scaling listener resumes the monitoring and do det tracking and adding it resources as per the requirement here it will add the it resources as per the requirement and then the dynamical scaling architecture can be applied to range of it resources including virtual servers cloud storage devices that means there is a scalability is there here you will add the different types of it resources those are it resources may be some of the virtual servers you may add the or you, can, you may dynamically scalable the these virtual servers that means dynamically scalable the cloud storage devices that means you will apply these dynamical 
a scalability architecture to these IT resources. Besides the core automatic scaling listener, the resource replication mechanism, the following mechanism can be used in this cloud architecture. What are the mechanisms used in this uh, dynamic scalability architecture? Here you have uh, three different mechanisms are there. You are using for the dynamic scalability architecture. One is a cloud usage monitor. Other one is a hypervisor. Other one is a pay per use monitor. Here, what is a cloud usage uh, monitor? Specialized cloud usage monitor can track the runtime usage in a response to the dynamic fluctuation caused by this architecture. What are the fluctuations? What are the dynamic changes in this uh, system? That is a monitor by the this cloud usage monitor, one mechanism. Second mechanism is a hypervisor. Hypervisor in the sense, it is the link between the hardware as well as the virtual machine or operating system. The hypervisor caused by the, called by the dynamic scalability system. Here it is, that means it always invoked, invoked by the dynamic scalability system to create or remove the virtual server instances to be scaled itself. That means in order to creating or removing the virtual server instances to be scaled itself. That is called here hypervisor. Next important one, pay per use monitor. What is a pay per use monitor here? That means whatever you use, you should pay for that uh, uses. That is called here, that's based on that information. There is a Azure cloud is a provider is there and then AWS provider is there, whatever may be the use. Based on the use only, you will pay. That is a pay per use monitor. Here there is a pay per use monitor in order to getting the bill information that the kind of information you will use the paper use monitor. The paper use monitor is a engaged to collect the usage cost information. In order to collecting the usage cost, cost information in response to the scaling of IT resources, you will use a paper use monitor. That is, these are all different mechanisms for this one. This is a, a, a reference for the this one. Okay.